tell by the title, I'm going to be doing my art portfolio. I have different things from high school, then college with 2D class, 3D class, and a drawing class. And if you can hear noises, my chickens once again are being really loud. And also the farmer is out there farming the farmland right there. So if you hear like a big tractor, that's why. So if you would like to see all of my artwork, go ahead and keep watching this video. So this one is just kind of, when you read a book, I feel like the book really comes alive and I can like experience with the book. So in this one, I don't know if you'll be able to see very detailed anything, but in here I have just a book in the middle and then stacks and this is all colored pencil. Now this is all graphite and then the rest is colored pencil. Like the inside of the book is the thing that's coming to life and the outside of the book is just there. And then I have a girl, her legs are flat, but then she's sitting up, like she's coming out of the book, and words are swimming around. But I just like the meaning behind this, that just books can come to life if you really like to read them. I think this was freshman year. I wanted to try a hand at painting. I tried to do Katara. And this is one of the very first times I ever worked with oil, I believe. Yeah, this is oil. So, I don't know, I kind of like it. It's a little, I could have done a lot better on it, but I think this was my freshman year, so it's not like I had a lot of experience painting. But yeah, guitar. And then keeping with that, I wanted to do it again, so I did, I think I did both acrylic and oil, maybe. But then I did Sokka. And I love how this one turned out. I tried a little bit more on the details and just really bringing in the color. And then the only thing that bothers me here is all this negative space down here. And then the last thing I did was my senior year, and I really wanted to do something with 3D. And I made my dog. This is actually a picture of him, so I like took the picture, traced it on here, and then just kind of carved it out. So it's kind of 3D, a tiny bit from here to this. I feel like I could have made it a lot more 3D than I did. But it was my first time ever working with wood, and this is all wood burned. And then I painted the white onto him and then this I just kind of like took the wood burning and just kind of did like that and I also like cut out little rivets and everything just to give it a 3D-ish grass feeling I guess I don't know but I really love how this turned out I think he looks so good and it's just a very unique piece I even did his teeth like his teeth poke out which really makes me happy I love that but I just love how this turned out and then I can't remember when I did this, but I went to like a work study at the college that I'm at now, but it was while I was in high school. So this is stuff that I took, like I took classes there that were made for high school students. So the first one was a painting class, and it was, we did this. And I like how it turned out. It's not my best or anything, because I really need to work on painting. This was after I did Sokka. So we had to look at still lifes and paint it. Then I took a drawing class and they had another still life set out and there was a lot of wine bottles in this so that was kind of a fun challenge to draw something that's kind of see-through. So this they set up like they love setting up their still lifes. Let me. So they had skeletons, they had like a box and then they had wine bottle sitting out and this is definitely not my best. This is one of the first times I ever really worked with still lifes this big. I, I'm a person who loves to draw small. I love smaller things so making myself draw big is really hard to do but I love challenging myself so this was a fun way to kind of play with that. So I think for one of my first times ever really doing that this turned out pretty good but I've gotten a lot better. And then my last class there was a um, illustration class. And what we did here was we took a picture from a magazine, we traced out whatever it was, and then we went back through. So this is a girl for Interview Magazine. Oh, there you go. So I traced her, and then I put in all the shadows and the everything, and this is all colored pencil, colored pencil. This is all graphite, and I love how this turned out, and then up here is colored pencil, and her lips are also colored pencil. So everything's black and white, but then her lips kind of kind of pop. It's not like a real obvious. So moving on, I'm going to show you everything from my 2D class that I really liked. Challenging myself to really try new things like this was 
really, I really enjoyed it, and I feel like these were the best that I did. And the first one, let's see how does it go, it goes like this. We had to just do a bunch of different lines kind of thing and kind of play with perspective, so it kind of reminds me of something from Tron. This is all from ink. I had to paint it on, so that was a challenge because I've never worked with ink before. This one was really fun. I loved doing this. I love how this turned out. We had to do something with circles, so I put a bunch of different circles, and then I put squiggly lines, and then colored in opposite, kind of like a checkerboard, but squiggly checkerboard. So I love how this turned out. And the reason this one is matted is because I put it into the show, but this one didn't get in, but this one did. So if you can find the three hidden letters in here, I, I, because it's not that hard, but if you don't know what you're looking at, you don't know. So I had to name this specifically so people would get what they're looking at. And then my next one, we had to find a word and do font relating to the word and also just kind of, I don't know, put it on there, kind of relating to the word. So I did shy because I'm very shy. And I'll, I'll do like zoom-ins of these because this one you can't really tell, I don't think, from here. And I put, there's like blue paint around here that I swirled. And then I forgot that I had touched little parts on here with ink to kind of make it better. So when I went over with the uh, paint, the ink swirled with it and I was like, oh no. And then when I was done, it kind of looked really cool because it's like hiding behind and the ink's kind of going into it. So it kind of relates to shy, I guess. I don't know, I really love how this turned out. So. so for my next project, we had to draw something and draw, cut it into threes, and then draw like the actual color, do the opposite colors, and then do the relating colors right on the sides of it kind of thing. So if it was like red, there would be yellow and orange kind of, just kind of all relating right, right next to them. So this is the relating colors, this is the opposite, and then this is the original. So where it was darker, I put like a darker blue and purple, and over here I did a darker red and everything. So I really love how this turned out. I think it looks really cool, but yeah, this was an interesting project to kind of think about colors and how it would look if it was opposite or relating. So my next project, we had to find a letter or a number and then draw something that looks like it. So I drew a chubby fish and she's a nine. A lot of people thought she was a G but I wanted her to be a nine and she's just kind of like yay in the water and there's bubbles all around. So I like how this turned out. She looks really cute. So another project that we had to do was like an alter ego kind of thing and I didn't really understand this as much as other people but I knew what I wanted to do, so I did a cat, because if there would be one thing in the world that I could be, I would be a cat. So I drew a kitty cat, and we had to do like a front view and a side view, so the front view, she's just sitting there, and she's got a little bow in her hair, and she's just like sitting there real cute, and the next one, she's stretching. My teacher really loved how she was sitting, like stretching, and it added kind of a different kind of movement to it, and it really just kind of adds some dynamic to it, so I really love how this turned out. The next one kind of reminds me of a barcode, but it is this, and we had to play with line work and just kind of putting lines down to make them interesting. And so I did a lot of different sizes. I think these two right here are probably the biggest right here. It's hard to like look in the viewfinder, but I don't know, it, it's pretty interesting. I kind of like this kind of stuff, so doing a project like this and really thinking about it was pretty fun because this isn't something I normally do. I really thought this one through so it's like mirrored, it, both sides are exactly the same kind of thing. I really measured everything out like crazy, I was a crazy person doing this. I really love how this turned out. So my next group is from my drawing class and I had two semesters of this, a just normal drawing and then advanced drawing. Starting off here we had a lot of still lifes that we did, so I'll start off with my first one I guess. This is the very first still life I did in my drawing class and I really love how this turned out because when I was placing it I didn't think about like where it was going to go which is what they try to get you to think of how you want everything on the page before you start doing it. So I put this all down and then I realized that the corner was going to show 
And I was like, oh no, how am I going to do that? Because it was paper. And I really love how this turned out because it, it kind of brings you around and back down here and back up there kind of thing instead of just looking here. I feel like this kind of adds a good balance to it. My next one was like really intimidating when I came in and I saw what the still life he had set up was, but I love how this turned out. And it is a cow skull. So that was kind of like you walk in and you're like, that's a lot of details and stuff that you have to do. So I love how it turned out though. I really think it had has a lot of interest to it. And then I also had just the very bottom here where I could play with the shadows and everything. I love how this turned out with all the shadowing and everything because it's a very, like, a lot of indents and just different things with the skull. So that was pretty cool to work with. My next project was so frustrating because for some reason, somebody else in a different class didn't realize that we were using this still life. They were just kind of like, oh, well, I want something here too, so I'm going to take it off and I'm going to go put my thing on there. And it's like, really? Because it's fabric. Once you move fabric, it's not going to look the same. So this one, it kind of is off a little bit because I had to really blend different things. So like, this is all the same and it's about right here. This was three different class times, so about right here I was done. I had all this kind of penciled in where I wanted it, and then I come in, and this is completely different. So this right here is another layer of trying to make this kind of match with this kind of how it would work, and then I was like, how am I going to do this? And then the next day I come in, and it's gone again. So this down here was another challenge so it kind of looks a little weird but at the same time like I'm really proud of myself for kind of making fabric look like fabric and I like how it's off to the side and there's like some negative space here I think that adds a kind of cool little detail and then we had like those were all done in class and then we had other assignments that we had to do at home the first one we had to draw just like a little trinket around the house and everything and I love pandas. They're so cute. This is done in graphite, but I just love how this turned out. It's so cute. And then the next one we had to draw some sort of our body part, like a foot, an arm, an elbow, something. So I drew my hand, but I drew it holding a pencil. So I have a thing about putting whatever I'm drawing to the left side of the paper. For some reason. I don't know why, I just do. But I love, love how this turned out. It looks like my hand because I have very different hands. Well, hi! What are you doing? I feel like it looks like my hand and then drawing the pencil was really fun too, but this is kind of a fun, realistic drawing to do. This one was an independent. We had to do something with landscape. So this is just a landscape of tree. It was done on like gray paper with graphite so it added a little bit of interest to it. The next project we did we had to take lyrics from a song or from a poem or anything and just kind of illustrate it. So once again me being obsessed with singing in the rain I had to do something with that so if you can tell here it's small on my viewfinder so I if I put it on the computer I'll be like oh yeah you can see all the details it's like super easy. But like right here, I'm just kind of like, I can't see it. But basically what it is, is singing in the rain. It's from like kind of the ground view looking up at him. And then since it looks so dark and dreary out, I wanted a light beam kind of coming down to him. Because even though it's horrible outside and everything, he's super happy inside. And then my last one is matted because... It got into the show at my school, so I love that. And I really like how it looks because this this is green, this is purple, this is brown, and then this is red. So there's a lot of different colors to play with, and this was like one of the first times I ever really worked with color because I love black and white. That's my favorite thing to draw, so working with color was a challenge, but I love how this turned out. So my last little group is from my 3D class, and I have something for plaster. Um, 
styrofoam, clay, and also wood. So starting with the smallest one, it is my plaster project, and what we had to do was just basically find something either organic looking, um, like this, this is, I did organic, and what I did was just kind of made it round all the way through, and then put a hole in the middle, which kind of added a cool little dimension, and it kind of reminds me of fire a little bit, but originally I had it sitting flat like this, and then I put a little indent in the bottom where it kind of went in, but then you couldn't really see that, and I realized it was sitting too flat, so I kind of put it more on its side so it adds a little bit more of a dimension, and I really like how that looks. My next one is styrofoam, and I did a weeping willow, so it looks like this. So I took different sizes of cups and I cut out different layers so that they made a base of the tree. So I thought that looked really cool, but what I did was I put them kind of diagonally up. I cut into them like stripes or something, so it added sort of a organic looking like outside. And then also with the leaves, instead of making actual leaves, I did big curls out of real thin strips of the cups. So that's what it looks like. It's very fragile. I Somebody, I think, picked this up wrong and they broke part of it, so I need to re-glue that. So I'm trying to be very delicate with it right now. So I made this, and it looks really, really cool. My dad helped me out with this a lot, which was really helpful of him. But on the outside, I stained it because this is like the normal color it was, and then I stained it, and then I wood burned again from the other project that I did. I loved wood burning, so I wanted to do it again. And I did trees, so it, it's kind of hard to tell on here, but it like goes across the little sides, and then on the sides here, you can see the trees a little bit better, and then on the top it says love. And then I just put pictures in here, and I just used like scrap paper that I had, so it was gray and blue, so then I just kind of put them opposite, so I love how this turned out, and I really measured everything out when I was making this. Like, I, I went crazy measuring, and that was a lot of fun to make. And then my last project is one of my favorites I've ever made out of everything here. We had to work with clay, and instead of, like, making an actual little, like, something like this with the plaster, we had to work with perspective. So we got a box of clay kind of thing, and made it flat and then took a picture of a house and really tried to make it look like it was going back from like a side corner. So this is what I did. I actually did my actual house, which actually I really love that I did my actual house. And so what we did was it was like really thick and then we took out layer by layer. So this is the farthest, this is the, uh, the sky. And then it kind of goes up and up and up from different things. So this is the closest to you and then this goes back farther. So I really love how this turned out and the reason it looks this color is because we took like liquid rust and put it all over this and then wiped it off. So in the parts that are farther away and you wipe it, it doesn't get all the way in there so it kind of adds a cool dimension to it. So I love, love how this turned out and it's extremely heavy but we carved out the back so that it still is supportive, but it's not super thick, so it wouldn't blow up when we fired it, but yeah, I really, really love how this turned out. So that is all of my artwork, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I really hope you guys liked my artwork. I tried to pick the best out of all of them, because I had a lot more than this, but a lot of them were just something to turn in. So if you liked all my artwork, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you would want to, and if you would like to see more of my videos and me and my artwork, go ahead and click subscribe. If you have any type of art related or just any kind of video you want to see, please let me know down below or tweet at me at twitter.com slash and I will definitely try to do my best to do whatever videos you guys want me to do. And I just hope everybody has a really great day and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! They are speed stackers. Yeah! We have like a whole like section on speed stacking. And